So we've got quite a long length of uh, cable, multiple cables to run in the attic. Uh, so the way I normally do it is we measure it with a piece of string first, uh, the exact route, then we pull the piece of string out, and then uh, that's the length of cables that we actually need. So Jude is upstairs in the attic right now, and he's poking through some um, string with a push rod through with the trunking that we have here in the wall. Uh, the trunking there, hopefully you can see that. Okay. okay, hang on, let me just pull a few meters through. I'll, um, hang on, I'll take the push, right, you can pull the pull rod out. I've got the string still. Okay, I'm just going to pull some string through, yeah? Pull a bit extra. Right. And then it's going to go, yeah, along the ridge board. All the way along. Yeah, I might need to go and get some more trunking actually. More trunking. I've got some, but I'm not sure how much I've got. When Dave gets back, I can go to the bricker. Got a roll of uh, 20 on it, you can have some Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's right. Just get the whole stuff. Right, I can have it. Oof. I can't see where it, this is where the negative end, but the positive end must be down there somewhere and I can't actually see where it is. Did we do it externally or something? Because the other panels, they end a bit further down, don't they? Where's the existing string end? Yeah, that's that's the fiber optic cable. Uh, those are those are internet.
Right, so it's the next morning, last good day of weather. We've got one day weather window before the weather turns, um, I wouldn't say really bad, but before it starts raining a lot. So we've got sun today. So we've got to try and get as many panels on the roof as we can. We've got 27 panels, we're gonna try and get up on the roof. Don't know how many we can get done today. Um, so uh, let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is get the tractor out of the garage and move the solar panels over to the roof. So we're on the roof again and uh, we're putting up uh, the rest of the solar panels. Jude at the moment is just putting the um, earthing cable so we can earth, loop an earth cable through all of the rails back to our main earthing point here. Then once we've done that, then we've got to pull the solar cables through the roof. We've got to drill another hole um, actually in the roof. Um, and then uh, we can put a grommet in, pull the cables through, and then we can start putting the solar panels on.
I need to hook it up, so. Um, just wondering if I should bring the little ladder up here. Oh, maybe I'll be right. Just I can't get any higher, really. Hmm. Right, that's connected. Yeah, Alright, that's just finger tight. Up a little tiny bit, five five mil, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Do you want me to have a go doing that one up? Day and we managed to get 17 panels installed today, which is really good, uh, especially considering we had to manually lift them up on top of the tower and, and put them in. Um, yeah, really tiring doing that. Luckily, we had the weather on our side. Uh, the other thing we did was we actually extended the rails out a little bit so that uh, we could actually fit uh, nine panels per string rather than eight panels. Um, so yeah, really happy with the progress. Next week, we're gonna get the final string of solar panels installed and that last panel on the end installed. Um, and, and also we're gonna get finish off all of the cabling, get all the connectors crimped on, and we're also gonna get the combiner box in the garage hooked up so we can have the big switch on, hopefully um, ne early next week. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to comment, I read all your comments. Uh, really appreciate your comments by the way, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.